The pandemic has triggered a global mental health and financial crisis. For many, the economic downturn has triggered severe negative emotions, obsessive thoughts, and even suicidal ideation. Well, even before this pandemic, it's estimated a quarter of adults and many millennials were experiencing financial stress. And that is where a new book comes in. It's called can better mental health fix my finances the financial mindset fix you're looking at it right there and author joyce martyr with urban balance joins us to explain good afternoon joyce nice to see you again nice to see you sylvia thank you for having me it is my pleasure oh, this is an interesting concept so what is the relationship between mental health and financial health well, it's very interdependent. After practicing for more than 20 years with thousands of clients from all walks of life, I've seen that financial stress really impacts mental health. It can cause anxiety, depression, clinical burnout, and financially triggered PTSD. And then unaddressed mental health issues can impair our functioning at work. They can cause compulsive spending, gambling, hoarding, spending money on substances and other issues like that. And I've seen in my practice that as people promote positive mental health, it improves their financial health because their self-esteem is higher. So they're putting themselves out in the world with more confidence, they're uh -huh. more assertive and negotiating. Interesting. It makes you wonder what came first, the financial health issue or the mental health issue, right? It's a chicken and egg Yeah, situation. it really is. Sure. Yeah, okay, but you have some steps to improving our mental health and financial health. So let's run through them. The first thing you say is recognize how your past has shaped your perspective of money. Explain. Well, it's important for us to think about our parents and their relationships and their issues with money. And also to honor any financial traumas that we've experienced. If you've grown up in poverty, if you had experienced financial trauma because of systemic racism, if you went through unemployment or a foreclosure or a job loss or a business closing, that impacts your psychology of money, your thinking, your emotions, and your behaviors about money, and that shapes your financial reality. Okay, next so one. Really about that, yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Next one, you say no. You have the power to change your finances, and this is important. Yes, I think it's common for many of us to feel discouraged, and we might blame the economy or something else. But really, when we take the reins of our financial life and we take responsibility, we can create positive change in our finances. And I believe in having daily mental wellness practices. I'm a huge believer in mindfulness practices like meditation, yoga, deep breathing, because they help us detach from ego, connect with our de deeper self, mm -hmm. and detach from worry and develop some grounded presence in our financial life so we can respond thoughtful, thoughtfully rather than being reactive. So meditating. And it's think big, yeah. Right. So meditating and kind of calming yourself down allows you to be more rational about the big picture. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, more rationally, more conscious, more mindful of your spending. It's common for us to go into denial. Right. So awareness of your thoughts so that you notice if you're having self-limiting beliefs, you can shift those to more abundant, expansive thinking. Very good, very good. Okay, finally, you say break through shame and access support. So what do you mean by that? Well, many of us, just like with mental health issues, we struggle in shame and silence, and we compare our insides to other people's outsides. And this doesn't do us any good, good service at all. It's so important to tell people because when we reach out, we tell friends, family members, financial advisors, and therapists, we're opening ourselves up to more problem solving, more solutions, and more opportunities that can improve our situation. So I always encourage people to talk to a therapist or counselor or talk to a financial advisor or debt consolidation counselor. Okay, Joyce Martyr, the new book is coming out when and where can people go when it finally does come out to get it? So it's available for pre-sales now, and you can find it at financialmindsetfix.com. 
and it's available on Amazon and other retailers. It'll be in all major bookstores July 27. Oh, and it's available in audiobook as well. Sounds like something that's really needed right now, maybe a subject that hasn't necessarily been targeted in this way before. So Joyce, always great to talk to you. Thank you for joining Thanks me this afternoon. So Thanks for having me.